Hey folks, it's Eddie for Watch Before You Buy. I have Fitbit Versa 2 in front of me and in this video I'll show you how to set it up. So let's do this. The first thing you want to do here is to press and hold the button to turn it on. If the watch is not responding, charge it first and try again. After 3 seconds the watch will turn on. And you will see this message here which tells you to download the Fitbit app. So let's do that. Open the app store on your phone and let's search for the Fitbit app. Once you find it, tap on install, wait for installation to be done and tap on open. Alright, now we have installed the app, we will have to make a profile. If you already have a profile, you can log in, if not, just tap on join Fitbit. Here you will have to enter your email and choose the password and you'll also have to check the first two checkboxes. Once you do that, tap on next. Then on I agree. You should enter your personal data here. Of course, if you don't want to, you don't have to use your real name. Once you come to the screen, you will choose here Versa 2 and tap on Setup. Just scroll down here and then confirm. This animation here shows you how to charge the watch. Now let's tap on Next again. Here we will have to allow the app to use your location for the watch to be able to synchronize with the phone. So tap on update settings while using this app. Actually, I'm going to change it to allow all the time. Now let's go back and tap on OK. Now we will wait for the synchronization to finish. Keep your watch close. On the watch you will see four numbers. Once synchronization is done, you will have to enter those numbers here. Now again, you will have to wait a little bit. Once this is done, your phone will ask you to turn on the Bluetooth if it's not on and to pair it with the watch. If the notification disappears, you can always tap on pair again or just scroll down and here you can tap on pair and connect. Here you can check this so your smartwatch can notify you when someone is calling you on the phone. Also, I would advise you to allow all of this. If there are updates, you will have to install them too. So let's tap on next. Here you can connect to your Wi-Fi, which I would recommend that you connect to your home Wi-Fi. Once you connect to your Wi-Fi, you will see the screen here. Just tap on next, again next, and now you will have to wait for setup to be done. Once this is done, tap on continue and OK. Here you can set up your Amazon Alexa if you like to. And if you like, you can skip this too, so just tap on not now. I'm going to tap on get started to set up Alexa voice assistant by logging into my Amazon profile. Here just tap on continue setup, get started, allow and use location. Now you can see that the app has automatically translated everything to German. That's because I'm living in Vienna, Austria. If this happens to you, you don't have to worry. You can change the language later to English. So here if you're planning to use the voice assistant, I would advise you to check everything and confirm. Here you choose the language for Alexa and tap on continue, continue again, next, next and done. On this page they offer you the premium package, you can skip this by tapping on the X here. And with this we are pretty much done with the Fitbit app, now let's go back to the watch. Here on the screen you will have to go through some simple instructions. So tap on start. The first thing the watch asks you is to set up which app would you like to open once you press and hold the button. By default it's set to Alexa, but you can change it to something else here. Once you make your choice, tap on save and don't worry, you can change that later. Now tap on OK and next. Swipe down, next and OK. And with this we are done, congratulations, you have successfully set up your Fitbit Versa 2. I hope this video was useful to you, if yes, please hit that like button, it means a lot to me. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. See you guys in the next one.